Hey, my babies, my soul tribe, my darlings. It's your girl, Kyra's Crystal Visions. <laughs> welcome, babies. Welcome, welcome. Newbies in between them. I oh, geez. Okay. I am so grateful for each and every one of you guys. I'm always sending each and every one of you guys so much love healing, good vibes, okay? And I am so grateful for all of your love, support, all of your donations too that you give me. Oh my God. And I am deeply appreciative of all of the energy exchange, darlings, okay? I do want to remind you guys that my readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into my readings, it will resonate accordingly. And just remember, to only take what resonates out of the message, darlings, okay? I am just blessed and I am deeply appreciative and I want you guys to know that of each and every one of you guys. And I'm not always able to comment back because I am so busy and I am also raising two beautiful boys, but know that Every time you comment, every time you like, every time you share, every time you show me love, even if the video does not resonate at that point in time, and you still show love, know that I am giving it back a thousand fold, babies. And for each and every one of my readings, you will be protected, me as well, by Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael from any evil eye magic or any negative energy or entities that want to beguile or to hinder us in any way. We send it back a thousand fold. Amen, darlings. So let's get to the reading. All right, my baby. So we're going to see what's going on. All right. Only take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. Um, this is definitely going to be someone that is in your energy or that wants to get into your energy because we're talking about love here. Okay, so let's see what's going on. What is going on? What is going on, spirit angels? Okay. So someone wants to show you, not only tell you, but show you attuned to your love languages that they are absolutely in love with you. At the bottom of the deck, falling in love. Yeah. Yeah, this person wants to have really good times with you, with being spontaneous. They want to, I'm hearing, keep the spark alive. This person is a team player is what I'm hearing. And they've absolutely fallen deeply in love with you. And when I tell you they want to show you in every way possible, they absolutely do. They do not care about what anybody is going to say or think. They are in love with you and you make them feel happy, exuberant, like a kid again is what I'm hearing. Okay. Or this is someone that wants to get into your energy. Someone that wants to come towards you. If you're not already dealing with this person, please put yourself where you belong. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. So for a lot of you guys. This person didn't expect to fall in love with you. They didn't expect it, but they don't regret it. This person is obsessed with you and they love it. They feel like it's a great, a good obsession. This person wakes up in the morning thinking about you and you're the last person that they're thinking about when they lay their head to go to sleep at nighttime. This person absolutely adores you, yep, yeah, at the bottom of the deck. They adore you, absolutely. And I'm trying to tell you, this person did not expect to fall in love, but they are so grateful and they feel blessed that they've fallen in love with you. Okay, for others, if this person hasn't come in yet, they're going to come in when you least expect it. And this person is going to be a team player. They're going to show you in every way possible and learn new ways to love you, to adore you. This person is fun, okay? Like, and I'm hearing this person is funny. So you're going to have a lot of great times together. 
This is beautiful. And unexpectedly, you're going to fall in love with this person. Yeah. Or if you're already dealing with this person, both of you guys unexpectedly fell in love with each other. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. What's going on? Oh, what did I say? The feelings are mutual. Both of you guys unexpectedly fell in love with each other. And this person wants to take a risk if they haven't already. If they did, man, they feel blessed. Because, you know, you bring this person joy, stability, peace, harmony. Like, you are such a healthy option, but also inspiration for this person. And they absolutely adore you. You adore each other. You guys are in love with each other. You guys always show each other that you're thinking about each other, that you're in love with each other, that you're there for each other. Definitely if you are committed or you're getting to know this person. You guys have a lot of inside jokes. You guys have a lot of telepathic, you know, talking, conversations going on. You can just look at this person and they'll know what you're thinking and you'll know what they're thinking. You guys have so much fun together. Like I'm hearing two peas in a pod. You guys are not only going to be like husband and wife, companions. You guys are going to be best friends. Oh, This person could be a different race than you. Someone could be African-American. The other person could be, you know, um, white or a different culture. But opposites attract. Because in each one of these photos, they're the opposite. Opposite in age, opposite in race. One is taller, one is shorter. But you guys are going to love each other like for the whole of who you are like everything about each other both of you guys are going to love this is beautiful yeah because both of you guys have released past toxic relationships lovers and very soon if you haven't already met this person you're going to come together with this person okay if you're already together with this person, very soon this person is going to show you more on how deep their love and their feelings run for you. Like this person is going to constantly reassure you, not because they feel like you are insecure. No, it's just who this person is. They're going to constantly reassure you that you're the only one. I'm so in love with you. I adore you. They're going to, you know, show you in gift giving. I'm hearing words of affirmation. When I tell you, like, they're going to attune to your love language and more is what I'm hearing. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about no exes, no toxic baby mamas, baby daddies, you know, ex-spouses. No, all that is done, boo. Okay. For some of you, this is someone new. And for others of you, you know, you're already dealing with this person. Okay? Let me move this over so it can be in frame. Let's get some more. Mm-hmm. See, a lot of past lovers, you know, the past relationships that you were in, you know, a lot of them had hidden agendas, okay? And they only wanted sex. But this person is not like this, okay? Now, I'm getting another message. There's somebody that really wants to be spontaneous and take a risk. They really want to come towards you and they really want a, I'm hearing profound, deep, connection and relationship with you and maybe in the past you guys were just friends with benefits okay 
Maybe you thought that this person with hidden agenda, all they wanted was sex, but this person wants more, okay? And truly, it is up to you whether you want to let this person in or not, okay? But let's see, let me clarify hidden agenda. Let me see. Yeah, this person wants to change or has changed. And they want to be with you. Yeah, they want to date you, flirt with you, get to know you. So for the message that this could be someone that you could have been friends with benefits with. I'm hearing in the past, you know, maybe it was all about sex. Okay. But as this person has been watching you truly getting to know you, they have fallen in love with you. And they have changed. You have helped this person change. You were the catalyst to this person's change, whether you realize this or know this or not. And this person wants to take a risk and come towards you. And they want to date you. Should the collective take this person into consideration? Because this is someone that is from your past, though. Like, you're not in contact with this person. Mm. For some of you, don't do it. Okay, we got pillow talk here. And then right after that, we got love yourself. Okay, so for some of you, you have a friends with benefits that wants to spend the block. Okay, they want to act like, you know, they're risking it all for you. That, you know, they're the better option. They'll be more fun for you. But the truth is, this person has a hidden agenda, okay? Um, and it's best for you to leave this person in the past. Like, this person is going to show you a good time. Like, they are going to have you smiling and super excited. But with hidden agenda, I had to, like, clarify this. I don't know if they're going to pretend like they have changed for some of you. But this person has not changed. Okay, they just want to get you in in bed for whatever reason, babies. It's fair to say love yourself. Okay, this person almost had me fooled for a minute. Okay, almost, ha! almost had me fooled. Okay, so that's what it is. Is what spirit is saying. So it's like okay, someone from your past that you could have had a friends with benefits situation with. Someone that would come in and out of your life with being spontaneous here. Acting like they wanted something more. Or acting like they would take a risk. But this person just wants to have sex with you. This person has a hidden agenda on why they want to have sex with you. Um, I'm hearing energy harvesting. They will even act as if they changed. But spirit is saying, you know, release this person. Let this person go. Because you actually have someone that you're dealing with secretly or that is coming in unexpectedly and you guys will be on the same page do not go backwards when it comes to whoever this friends with benefits is clarify releasing the past real quick releasing the past family in reverse okay Somebody here, and it could possibly be, you know, this friend, this friends with benefits. Um, this person definitely was hoping that you would like release a family dynamic and leave this person in the past. This is possibly the person that you are committed to or that you have reconciled with. Okay, because we have reunited. You could have secretly reunited with someone that you were building a family with. Because in the past, both of you guys, you know, went your separate ways. You chose to disconnect. And it made whoever this friend is or this friends with benefits very happy. Because their hidden agenda was to come back towards you, act as if they change, 
just to harvest your energy is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing, but the joke's on them because you have reunited for some of you with someone that you were already building a family with. You could have a child or children with this person. And with the unexpected card, people weren't expecting this when it comes to you reuniting with someone you used to have a family with. So it definitely could be a couple of people, a couple of your exes, a couple of friends, you know, a couple of people you were dating. Because I said people. But it's definitely a friend or friends with benefits. For some of you, it could be past people that you try to build a family dynamic, even if you don't have any kids. It could be a past baby mama or baby father for some of you. And they were butt hurt because you chose to deal with, you know, someone that shares your mutual love and understanding. Someone that is a team player and that will sacrifice and provide for you. And you could have been building a family dynamic with this person in the past. And you could have a child with this person. But it's like your exes wanted you not to be with this person. They wanted you to leave this person in the past. Some of you could have children with multiple people. So what I'm getting is like, for example, like say if you have two children and the children have different fathers, right? You could have definitely left a toxic ex that you had your first child with. And then you went on to someone else that you were building a family with and you could have had a baby with that person. Well, the child's father that you had the first child with is pissed, jealous, and was praying that they could get you back and that you wouldn't go back to your second child's father. But people are realizing that you went back to your second child's father because that is your person. That is the only person that is willing to sacrifice, to change, to be the change, right? To heal, to love you the way you deserve. And the feelings are still mutual, okay? That is a example. And that message will relate to some of you guys. But if you don't have no kids with your exes or someone that you were building a family with, but y'all, you know, separated. The last person that you separated from, you are going to reunite with this person. The last person or the last person that you had a kid with. Okay? And it's because this person actually does love you. And they're willing to put in the work to show you that. But you also have a friends with benefits that you used to deal with, they also have a hidden agenda to come back towards you to harvest your energy, but they're gonna act like they changed. They haven't, okay? And this friends with benefits is praying that you don't get back with your ex or your child's father or your child's mother. Family in reverse. Yeah, expressing your needs, okay? It's like these exes, this ex-friends with benefits, you know, ex-friends is also what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing family, like mothers, fathers. They were praying that you don't express what you expect from someone you were building a family with. They didn't expect y'all to reunite. So some of you guys have definitely reconciled with someone that you were building with or someone that you have a child or children with. And that's how it's supposed to be. You guys are now expressing your needs to each other. You could also be keeping this a secret because a lot of people are against this connection. For others of you that are single, 
you have your exes that are praying that you don't get real love. That you won't find someone that will cater to all your needs and see you as valuable, but you will. You absolutely will. Because you've learned your lesson. You have ascended. You continue to, you know, evolve and ascend and level up. And you will get the love you deserve for my single Pringles. For those that have reconciled or is soon going to, your person has learned the lesson. You are everything that they want. And they are going to make it up to you if you choose to take this person back. But you got exes, you got family, you got friends, you got friends with benefits that is praying that you don't go back to this person. But you will though. Or for some of you, you have secretly. Because this connection is protected. I'm hearing cloaked. Like the ancestors, the angels, God is cloaking the vision of these past haters, these exes. I'm gonna be real. Unexpected. It, yeah. You could even relocate with the person that you have reconciled with or that you will reconcile with. And people was not expecting this because I'm hearing family, friends, exes, they wanted to keep using and abusing you and your person. I'm gonna be real. But this relocation, you guys are gonna be so happy. Oh my God. It is safe to fall. You guys are going to be so happy. Now, for my single Pringles, um, you could have gotten your new home. You could have relocated to a different city, a different state. And that's where you're going to find your true love. When you relocate. So something has been urging you or nudging you to move. Do so. And you will find the love that you've been seeking. Right? But yeah, relocation, moving is a definite for you or for both of you guys, okay? If you're single, it's for you. If you have reconciled or you will reconcile, it's for both of y'all. You need to move away from these people so your love can thrive because these people don't want y'all together. Yeah, body language. You guys are always showing each other, I can't make this up. And for this new person coming in when you move, they're going to always show you, you know, this person that you secretly reconcile with or that you will reconcile with. You guys are going to show each other that you're so into each other sexually, you know, physically, highly attracted to each other. You guys are going to be like very playful towards each other. Yeah, this is your soulmate, baby. This is the one. That's why God is allowing you guys to reconcile. This person has learned. They're willing to put in the work to grow alongside you. This is a beautiful reading. And for my single Pringles, when you move, when you relocate, if you haven't already, you're going to find your soulmate. That is the one. And they are going to love and cherish you. And you will love them just as much and hard as they love you. Yeah. Self-sabotage. It fell right on expressing your needs and family in reverse yeah it's like these exes whether you have children with these exes or not ex-friends with benefits lovers friends family they want to sabotage this so bad but they can't they also could be sending you you know confusion magic or magic to break you guys up or for you to self-sabotage or for your person to self-sabotage they could be calling you, trying to gossip, trying to tell you this is not your person. Don't listen to it. Listen to your intuition. Look at the signs of synchronicities. Two, 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 angel number. This is your person. The devil is trying so hard to break up or keep apart true love. For others of you, trying so hard to keep true love away if you're single. But that's not going to happen, baby. You're destined to have true love as long as you're willing to continue to heal, 
to love yourself, to value yourself, right? To treat yourself the way you want to be treated, right? To stay on your purpose, to be at peace and in balance. Body language. Yeah, letting go of control and reuniting came right back out. Okay, so when it comes to those that have silently reconciled or you are about to reconcile, both of you guys need to just go with the flow. Let go of control. Don't overthink. This is your person. Listen to your intuition. Look at the signs, the synchronicities. Make sure that you have a really good relationship with God, your angels, your ancestors. Okay, your spirit team, because they will always, always give you songs, signs. Your person is connecting with you telepathically, okay? Look at the numbers that you see constantly. Yeah, let go of control, baby. There's no need to control. This person loves you and you love them, baby. It's okay, right? We are all learning. That's why we are on this 3D plane to learn the lessons, to ascend. And we are all perfectly imperfect, but some of you guys are meant to reconcile. Some of you guys have already done so secretly. And both of you are enjoying each other, letting go of control, relocating, like life is good or it soon will be. For my single Pringles, you are going to reunite with a um, past life soulmate, past life twin flame. Let go of control, right? Enjoy each present moment but always working towards the future, right? You guys are going to literally be in love with each other and no one is going to break this bond, no one, because you have relocated. A lot of you to a different city, a different state. And this is where your true soul family resides. This is where you're gonna be supported by being in this connection, not hate it. But you always have to make sure that you don't give too much information when it comes to your relationship because it's always haters right around the corner, okay? But yeah, let go of control, let it flow naturally, right? Let it unfold naturally and you're going to be surprised, babes, all right? Mutual feelings, mutual feelings, mutual Look, both of you guys want a commitment. Both of you guys will be committed, devoted. You want them, they want you. All they want is you, all you will want is them, yeah? For some of you, for those that, you know, you're reconciling or you have reconciled in the past, it was bad timing, right? For those of you that have been wondering, where is my true love? And you've been single for a long time and you are righteous and you are doing that inner work and you are giving and sending out a lot of love, that love is coming back to you. It just wasn't the right time in the past, but in the present going towards the future, you will connect with your true love. But again, spirit is saying, you know, a lot of you guys are getting that urge to move move listen to the guidance okay but both of you guys are on the same page you will be on the same page reconciliation or new okay this person's gonna marry you boo make them want to marry me <laughs> this reading is absolutely gorgeous okay i love this energy sending out love so love can always return you know yeah Equal reciprocity, give and take. This person is going to give you a lot of gifts. I'm hearing sentimental gifts, gifts that mean a lot, but also, you know, they want to spoil you, baby. Yeah, and they are always going to be honest with you. You guys are not going to have to guess. This person is not going to leave you in a state of confusion. What are we? Where is this going? No, you're going to know exactly what this person wants. And where they want to take this connection. And they want to take it to the next level for reconciliation. And for those that are dealing with new love where you will be, you know, they want to commit. And then they want to marry you, baby. They want you for life. 
You know, even if you have a child or children, they still want one, you know, with you. For some. All right, for others, this person wants to blend families, okay? Yeah, but this person will always be honest with you. This is a beautiful reading, very beautiful. This person is a giver, but you are too. Both of you guys had to learn to receive, and you have. You've learned that lesson. And now you get to give and receive. That's beautiful. Oh, what does this person want to say to you? Okay. Well, before I say that, let's get some zodiac signs on who this person could be, okay? Let's get some zodiac signs. But yeah, this is a really beautiful, positive, drama-free love, okay? Peace is sometimes boring, but it's okay. Would you rather have drama all the time? Because some people thrive, not in a good way when I say thrive, but they feed and thrive off of drama. They need it in their life. And that is a toxic, low vibrational individual. No, the person that you are reconnecting with, reconciling with, or this new person, they're on a higher vibration because they've done that work, because they want to be better. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to change this person. This person is willing to do the work to change themselves. To be better and to get better. 2929 29, angel number. Let's see. Zodiac sign. Sagittarius. Pisces. Gemini. Now, for extra confirmation, this could be your signs. So, Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces. Let's get another one. Capricorn. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Aries. All right. So these are, you know, this person's sign that you secretly reconcile with, that you will reconcile with, or this new love, okay? Taurus. All right, so let's see what they want to say to you, okay? So you soon will reconcile with someone that is doing the healing work. This is beautiful. And when I tell you your relationship is going to blossom beautifully now because lessons have been learned, baby. And you understanding your person understands as well. You know, teamwork, make the dream work. And going forward, a lot of miracles, a lot of magic. This will feel dreamy because you guys are, you know, completely head over heels in love with each other that has not changed for those that have reconciled or that will. For this new love, it will seem dreamy because this is someone that is actually healthy for you, someone that is actually on your level, someone that understands, that is willing to understand. You feel me? You are the only thing on my mind. Of course, because you've been running through their mind all day, baby. Ain't you tired? <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. I really was not prepared for this. See, we saw at the bottom of the other deck, it said what here? Bad timing. And it's okay. It's all right. This person understands and they got it right. And now they want to come back and make it right. Babies, okay? I spent so much time looking at your social media. Yeah. Daydreaming, visualizing, growing old together, being together. Um, if this is someone new, trying to manifest the courage to take that risk to message you, they will. They will, but you have to move or relocate. I'm hearing that strongly, okay? For those that this is someone new and you're single, but they stalk you, mm-hmm. And they didn't think that they were gonna fall in love literally from afar, but they have. I replay that conversation over and over again in my head. The last conversation that you had with this person, especially if you are, um, already reconciled with this person, you give this person a lot of motivation, inspiration, a lot of insight, a lot of guidance, okay? 
Some of you guys could definitely, you know, have psychic abilities or you're having the gift to predict the future. All right. Um, and some of you guys just are completely in tune with your intuition. And you are always like, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, no, that's a bad omen. Okay, you definitely look up angel numbers and what, you know, different animals mean. Okay. Like um, I had a conversation with one of my friends and while I was on the phone with one of my friends, I heard, you know, um, crows in the background. But what we were talking about was something that was, you know, really bad that my friend was going through. And that was just a bad omen to solidify what I told them not to do. Because if they was to do it, it wouldn't have turned out positive. Stuff like that. Like you warn your person, your person is listening now. I don't know if they didn't listen in the past, but they're listening now. Yeah. They trust you. And everything that you say to this person, they hold it with high value because they know that not only are you genuine, not only do you mean them well, and you're always coming from a good place, you know what you be talking about, boo. You do. You are tapped in with God, with source. You are one with source. You are an earth angel. You get that, you know guidance and those messages from your crown chakra from you know the 5d from your ancestors from your spirit team from god from the angels okay from the universe i feel safe with you because i know you care about me for who i truly am do you understand what i'm saying like this person knows that your heart is genuine you know, this person could have a lot of money. This person could always be giving you money, okay? This person is willing to give you their last, but you never use that against them. You're not a gold digger, a moocher, and you don't have a hidden agenda to just use this person. And they know that. They can feel that. They can see that, and they adore you for it. Like, you a real one, collective. You a real one. Let's get one more or two more. I was just trying to fill a void, okay? So in the past, you know, bad timing, this person did something to, you know, hurt you in whatever way, okay? I'm talking about the person that God wants you to reconcile with or you have, you know, they were just filling a void because they lacked doing the internal work, but they're doing the internal work because they're realizing not only how it's making them feel better, but... It's clearing their energy so that they can manifest better. You know, love within themselves, finances, okay? Um, yeah, I don't feel like this is for that new person, okay? I don't even recognize who I am anymore because your person is transforming and transcending, okay, into their higher self, into who they are, you know, I'm hearing who they are or who they were always, but was reluctant on accepting, okay? Or who they actually are. So they're transforming and transcending into who they actually are. Or like I said, this person was reluctant, okay? On accepting that they are different, that they have the capability to manifest anything. You know, this person definitely came from a environment where they were not supported. Like they had a poverty mind consciousness, but this person has elevated out of that. This is beautiful, y'all. Beautiful, okay? At the bottom of the deck, it says, I am almost ready. Please just be patient with me, whether you're with this person or not, or you you will reconcile with this person. Um, when it comes to that new person, okay, if you've moved, you're about to meet this person. If you need to move, move so you can meet this person, okay? But it's also moving so that you can get better opportunities in other areas of your life as well. But yeah, so just keep being patient. Everything is unfolding how it should be, okay? Let go of control. God know what God doing, okay? <laughs> um... Let's get some advice. I mean, do we need some? Not really. This is really beautiful. Okay. But we'll get one. Hold on, guys. From our divine abundance when it comes to 
you and this person, okay? Reconciliation or you and this new person. All right, babies? So let's see. Surrender, yep. Surrender to this reconciliation is what I'm hearing. Also, surrender your problems and your worries, baby. Everything going to be all right, okay? Everything going to be all right. It says, sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying. The ego learns what's hardest to stop trying to control the whole universe, you know? Just let go of control. This is another way of, you know, your ancestors, your spirit team, God, the angels saying, let go of control, baby, you know? Let go of your worries. Everything going to be all right. And do not allow family, friends, or other people to make you concerned or worried. Everything is happening just as it should be. Okay? Refrain. It says, this is happening for me, not to me. Another confirmation. Everything is happening as it should be. Nothing is out of place nor out of order. Everything that happened between you two, it was supposed to be that way, okay? If you definitely release toxic exes, it was supposed to happen so that you can reunite with someone from your past life that is actually going to give you the love, love you deserve, okay? Gratitude. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you whenever or wherever I go. Yeah, gratitude. Always be grateful, baby. Always. Even if it seems, you know, bad. Be grateful because it's a blessing in disguise is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you may think, oh, it's a loss because you had to let go of that toxic ex. Okay, or you were wishing to be with someone that was never going to take you serious. It was a blessing that these people were removed from your life. It's a blessing. You know, I'm hearing, you know, family members, friends that would just have you overthinking and concerned over nothing. It's a blessing that, you know, they're leaving with this lost card, baby. So always remember that it's happening for you. We're always for you. We're never against you. Even though you may not understand and in that particular moment, at that particular time, you will in time. So surrender your worries for we have you. We always have. God always will. Okay, let's get one more. I'm hearing you get one more. Right now. And this is happening right now. Okay, so everything is in the works right now. Some of you guys have already reconciled secretly right now. You're about to reconcile right now, okay? As soon as you move, that's when that will happen, right then and there, right now, right? If you've already moved, it's about to happen, okay? Enjoy this. Oh my God. Look at the bottom of the deck, true offering, okay? Right now it says, stay in the present. Didn't I say that earlier, boo-boos? And don't get too far ahead of the flow. Just go with the flow, boo-boo. Just go with the flow. Release any type of anxiety, fears. You're going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right, right? You'll soon trust that nothing more will come than can be handled each moment. God never gives you more than what you can bear, baby. Nothing more. And as long as you release control and stay in the flow and know that you are loved, know that you are protected, know that you're being guided, know that every moment of every second is being orchestrated so that you can get what you've been asking for, just show gratitude and know that it will be what it will be, when it will be, whatever you've asked for. Love definitely is what we're talking about right now, right? But this reconciliation is a true offering. This new person is giving you a true offering. True offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love. 
right? Some of you guys probably thought you would never reconcile with this person. You would never forgive this person. What? Not me. But when it's true love, when this person is coming towards you with pure, true intentions on loving you the way you deserved, that hate, that resentment, that hurt turns into love. Some of you guys probably was like, I'm never getting in a relationship again. Fuck love. All I do is get hurt and used. But see, when that real one comes in, that is patient and kind and appreciative and understanding, you change your mind, baby. You will change your mind. So everything that you've went through, it's just lessons. It's just a catalyst to push you towards what you've been asking for, to put you in the location and the position and to be ready for what you're asking for. Okay? So, let's get some initials. All right? All right. We have M. Oh, M. So something when it comes to your mom, all right? You are a mom. Maybe your mom is making you overly concerned. Let that go. It's nothing to be concerned about, okay? Oh, maybe your mom thinks that this person is not good for you, but they are. They are. Four, 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 four. They are. Okay. We have Z. For some of your mothers, they're just coming from a place of concern because of their own past relationships. Okay. But listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition. Listen to the guidance. This is your person. E. I, E, X, N, A. I'm getting exit without the T. A lot of people, okay, including some of your mothers, want you to exit out of a connection. But this is your person. It's not for them to see, it's for you to see. It's for your person to see. Okay? For advice, don't let everybody in your business. Okay? Z, F, O, V, S, R, K, Y, I, Z, U. Oh, I see my name. I claim this. <laughs> I claim this. P, E. And oh, yeah, people definitely keep people out of your relationship. Okay, go to a professional and only confide in people that you energetically, intuitively know that they absolutely have your best interest at heart and your person's as well. They can't just have your best interest at heart and don't give a shit about your person. No. They have to have both of your best interests at heart because then the guidance will be very positive and it will help you guys continue to grow. Okay. So we have Mike. Somebody's name could be Eve, Kylie.
I'm seeing Xena. Ron. Mona. Erica. Sky. Yasmin. Ulysses is what I heard. Ulysses. Eerie. Somebody could work in the hospital, emergency room. Somebody could be a nurse. Somebody could own their own business or they will. Somebody tried to do voodoo on your love life or this connection that you are reconciled with or you will reconcile. It's a lot of foe, man. It's a lot of foes around you guys, and that's why you're being guided as a couple to leave your home city, your town. It's a lot of foes. Or if you're by yourself and you're not connected with someone, you are around a lot of foes, possibly even your own mom. I'm hearing there's gossip, but it's irrelevant. Vision, yeah. Both of you guys can see the vision of you both being together, especially if you're already dealing with this person or you're reconciling. Um, you have a vision or you'll have a vision of this new person, a dream, but it's like a vision is what I heard. That's what I'm saying. Some of you guys are definitely... Um, um, like you can predict the future. You get uh, premonitions. Yeah, you get premonitions, visions. And God has been giving you visions of this new person or this person coming back because they're good for you. Um, Somebody here could have gotten Reiki or they are a Reiki healer. Some of you will be a mom if that's what you want. Or, you're, or you are a mom, like I said in the beginning. But I'll read the letters off, write them down, and see what other words, names, cities, because I'm getting Kentucky. I'm getting, I don't know why I'm hearing Nicaragua. I'm getting Virginia. Um, I'm getting Florida, Miami. But yeah, I don't want to just make this too long. 5151 angel number you could be seeing. All right, so M-O-M-O-Z-E-I-E-X-N-A-Z-F-O-V-S-R-K-Y-I-Z-U-P-E-O, okay? Somebody could be from Poland or Canada. California, Sacramento, somebody could be Vietnamese, all right, I'm going to just leave it there, y'all, all right, I love you guys to life, claim this in the comments below, I'm sending you nothing but love and beautiful energy to help this manifestation, you know, unfold beautifully into your life.
new or reconciled baby, okay? People are capable of change, just like you. So be compassionate, be forgiving, not stupid, but forgiving, and always send love, babies. I love you to life until next time. Bye.